Yes, with all of the events and activities and lunches and dinners and parties coming up, if you do want to dress it up for one of those upcoming holiday events, you don't need a new outfit. Just grab a new hair accessory instead. My first guest this morning says a pretty clip or bow will fancy up your look with very little effort. In today's style file, we're sharing a few new ways to add some hair dazzle. Studio 5 style and beauty contributor Megan Moore joins me to fill in. It's so great to see you. Likewise, friend. We're seeing a lot of extras, I'll call them, like yeah. embellishments and the bow thing is so huge. How are it's you huge. feeling about this detail movement? I love it. I've always loved hair accessories since I was a kid. Like a lot of my like junior high pictures were overly accessorized because I just found it to be fun. But I Which kind doesn't of, surprise me. I, all right, all right. So I'm always a little extra, but I love it because I feel like we're having this resurgence of femininity. Mm. For a long time, we kind of put that away and it was a, it was like, I'm going to show up and I'm going to do my masculine energy and yeah. I'm going to be a boss, right? Which is great. But I think we're seeing a shift back to like embracing womanhood and femininity. And I love that this kind of goes along with that. The softness is nice. And I will say, if, if you don't normally run extra like <laughs> Megan and yeah. other women out there, this is the time of year where I think women feel a little more bold and brave. Like I can pull this off for Christmas. Yes, it definitely speaks to the time of year, getting dressed up, having a party and having an excuse to do it so now is the time let's talk about the bows we have seen them on Christmas trees we have yes. seen them around our house and now actual bows are going back in our hair they are having a huge moment and it doesn't really matter the age it doesn't matter what length your hair is we're seeing them in fashion we're seeing them on dresses again like I saw some dresses that were like the like 20 year olds were wearing and they were so 80s like big bow dresses like a big bow and like, they think they're so trendy and I just I'm, <laughs> I, I'm like oh I'm, I'm here for it and we're just just embracing the bow so yeah we're seeing it on red carpets we're seeing it everywhere so I say go for it can I be honest Please. Scrolling the gram the other day, and I follow actress Sarah Jessica Parker. I saw she was wearing one of these big bows. It was trailing down yeah. the beautiful back line of her dress. I'm just being honest, safe among girlfriends. I did a little pause. Yeah. I think she's in her 60s. Yes. Late 50s, early she 60s. Is. Yeah, she is. Can any age really do this? I mean, I think hers is over the top, right? Yeah, it's yeah. very Sarah Jessica, right? It was super long and very big. But I do think that there's a place for it. If you feel comfort comfortable and confident doing it, go for it. I mean, I think it's fun. You can always pare it down to a smaller bow. It doesn't have to be as big if you feel like that feels a little too youthful for you. Point is to some bows to try. Okay, so so many great options. These ones are all Target finds, so there's just so many out there. They're now, easy. This is cute. Right? See? Just yeah, a little tiny dazzle, a little that one's really great tucked behind the ear. It doesn't have to be a full-on bow if you don't want it. I'm wearing one today that's actually just a piece of ribbon that I just tied in my own head. I'll turn around real quick. Darling. So it doesn't have to be something fancy, but yeah. just, you know, something that you can kind of just throw in and feel a little zhuzh. Is there a how-to with this? Sure. You can do it any way you want. A half up is great like this. I love it on like a low bow, uh, low bun. That's really polished and put together. So here's one that I'm doing here. It's a really easy bun that makes you look like you're so good at doing hair. I promise it's so easy. So one time around and then I flip it up and kind of with the second loop create that it, where it doesn't go all the way through. Mm -hmm. Then I flip my hair over. Now I will say my hair is really long. It's actually easier on hair that's not as long. Okay. So it doesn't have to be as long as mine. And then I finish with that last loop by tucking that in and then just pulling it out and get you get this really polished beautiful bun without too much effort and right. then I put the bow in for that extra little zhuzh. If right? you want to try the bow on a smaller scale you've got another style option. Yeah if you want to do smaller and you want to go for something like this that's like a clip option and then I would say it's just really great kind of tucked behind the ear and so maybe a side part and then kind of tuck it behind the ear. It can either be it can also be by the temple if that's easier for you but yeah so I like a side part and then whatever side my hair is like the least amount of hair on I like to slick that side behind the ear okay. and then I put in my um, barrette behind the ear to hold it and it just looks polished and easy. Polished is the perfect word. Both styles very chic. Yes. Very chic. Okay so pick your size. Yep. Pick your comfort level. Yes. And bow it up. Yep. Go for it. Another pretty accessory for the holidays but also just for the time. Pearls. Pearls have made a big comeback I too. I love it. Right. It's just very classic kind of old Hollywood. There's lots of ways you can do, do it. I've been seeing a lot of these claws. So a claw is really really easy. You can do a French twist with it which is traditional. I like to do with this one actually it's called like a three quarter updo. So oh. you know how 
like a half up is just half. Yeah. Three quarter is actually where three quarters of your hair are, are, are up and only a little bit is left down. It elevates it again. It makes it feel a little bit more polished. You than, probably have to have some hair for that. Yeah, you do. But you, I mean, really anybody can do it. If you just grab it and do a, like a low twist, but you can see I'm taking the majority of my hair here and only a little bit like by the nape is left down. Mm -hmm. Just a quick twist and then put in that pearl claw and it just feels, it feels a little bit more polished than a traditional half up style. Very so, pretty. Yeah. Very pretty. Finally, metal accessories. A little less feminine per yes. se, but still dressed up. Yeah, exactly. This one feels a little edgier. It's not quite as girly. It's got a little bit more oomph to it, uh -huh. but still very polished and there's so many ways that you can do it. These French pins are really fun to add into a bow. Ooh. Like They're just gorgeous to just kind of slide in, or not a bow, a bun. Really nice that way. There's so many great metal accessories out there. These ones are all from Target. So yeah, again, pick, pick where you want it to be and then just slap it in there. Bows, pearls, <laughs> metal accessories, little extras you can add to your hair that make yes. that outfit you've already got hanging in the closet feel a little elevated and polished on its own. Thank you so much. You Megan, bet. where can we get more from you? Um, at thebeautysnoop.com or over on Instagram at beautysnoop. 12 days of Snoop. Yep, 24 days of Snoop. I'm sorry, 24 days of 20, Snoop. It's oh, still going. It's still going. Describe what this is. It's really fun. It's every day I open an advent calendar with a makeup product. I have no idea what it's going to be. And then I have to come up with a look. And sometimes we get good ones. And sometimes we <laughs> don't get good ones. But I still play the game and wear it every day. And it's, it's really fun. It's so fun to see. And I think just empowering that you can try, you can play, you can have fun. Yes. I know that's what you're all about. Definitely. So we'll link you over to her Instagram, Beauty Snoop, from our website. Merry Christmas, sister. Thank, Thank you. you. You too. so much. Good job.